Okay, we're going to pick back up with number 8. Our domain is going to be x plus 2 cannot equal 0. When I solve this, I'm going to get x cannot equal negative 2. Well, the next thing I want to do is a common denominator. Well, a common denominator would be x plus 2, and both of these already have that, so it allows us just to work with our numerators, and we solve this, and x is negative 2, but since it says x cannot equal negative 2, this does not get to count, and it's a no solution. So we look at number 9, we first we're going to work with our domain, which says 4y plus 1 cannot equal 0. Divide both sides by 4, and y cannot equal negative 1 fourth. Okay, next we're going to have a common denominator. It's going to be 4y plus 1. So I'm going to multiply each term in there by 4y plus 1. Each term of my problem. Alright, then this cancels that and I'm left with negative 15. Alright, nothing cancels here so I have 4 times 4y plus 1. So I just have 4 times 4y plus 1 equals. There's nothing to simplify here so I just have y times 4y plus 1. I'm going to distribute and add like terms where I have parentheses. That becomes 4y squared plus y. Add like terms over here and I have negative 11. Now I want to move everything to one side so um, and get 0 on the other so I add 11 and I'm also going to subtract 16y so that way this cancels, this cancels. I now have 0 on one side and then I have 4y squared minus 15y plus 11. I want to go off to the side and factor that using bottoms up. So what's going to multiply to give us 44, what's going to add to give us negative 15. Well, 4 times 11, but it doesn't be a negative. Then I take my original, my first coefficient 4y and 4y, my first term. Simplify, divide by 4, divide by 4, so that becomes y minus 1. And this from right bottoms up is 4y minus 11 equals 0. Set this one equal to 0 and solve because of our 0 product property. And then I set this one equal to 0 and solve. That means y equals 1, and over here I have y equals 11 fourths. Now we need to go back and check our domain. Domain just says it cannot equal negative 1 fourth. So this is a solution, and this is a solution. Okay, number 10 is going to be our last problem. The first thing we want to do is work with our domain, so we're going to factor anything that we can factor. This factors by bottoms up to x plus 2, x plus 5. This has a GCF of a 3, so when I take it out, I get x plus 2, and this does not factor. So now I want to take each one of these for my domain and set it not equal to 0 x plus 2 cannot equal 0, x plus 5 cannot equal 0. I did this one, I did this one, now I want to do 3 cannot equal 0, and then x plus 2 is already represented, so that's there, and then this x plus 5 is already represented, so it's here. So now I'm going to solve
and this tells me no information so next thing I want to do is we want a common denominator a common denominator means I need to include one of each one of our factors so I'm going to use x plus 2 I'm going to use x plus 5 I've used this one, I've used this one, I need a 3 x plus 2 has already been used and x plus 5 has already been used so I want to write my common denominator and I'm going to multiply it above each term up here so I have x plus 2, x plus 5, and a 3 x plus 2, x plus 5, and a 3 Okay, and now after we've multiplied it through every term in the problem, we want to cancel this and this cancel. So I'm left with 3 times x plus 2. Okay, equals. Now, this 3 cancels this 3, x plus 2, x plus 2. I'm left with x plus 5 times 1 which is just x plus 5 now in the last one x plus 5 cancels this x plus 5 but I have a 3 an x plus 2 and a negative 1 so I'm going to say negative 1 times 3 is negative 3 and then I also have x plus 2 so I'm going to distribute Distribute here. Add like terms anywhere that you can. So I'm going to add here and get negative 2x. And I'm going to add my like terms here and get minus 1. I want to move all my variables to the left. All my variables to one side. So that's going to give me. 5x plus 6 equals negative 1. Get x by itself. 5x equals negative 7 and then divide both sides by 5. x equals negative 7 fifths. Now check and make sure our domain um, is fine. So our answer and our only solution is x equals negative 7 fifths.